Some local engineers are celebrating a win after the first Lego League tournament at FSCJ last weekend. So if you've never heard of the first Lego League, it's a unique robotics tournament where all of the robots are constructed using, you guessed it, Legos. To show off some of the awesome winning creations are FSCJ professor Chris Lee right here, as well as Leslie Rester, the first delivery partner for the Northeast Florida region. So you're behind the scenes making it happen. You're out there on the front lines making it happen. First of all, congrats on a successful event. I know it had to have been a lot of fun. It was. It was a lot of fun. The kids really enjoyed it. The parents, the coaches. It was a chance for the kids to come for it. This one was a scrimmage, so they got a feel for what everything is like. And even the parents, one parent said, you know, we've been in basketball, volleyball. We didn't know anything about this. So coming here this weekend, it really gave me a good picture of what my daughter is really into. Sure. So and it's a taste of more to come. And, and it's a different kind of exercise, right? Exercising your brain. I look at this and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is not the Legos that I built. <laughs> when I was a kid, right, exactly. Leslie? Yeah, it really is. A little more complex. Well, we call it the, it's the competitive sport for the mind. Um, okay. So we are a competitive sport and we do, we just use robots instead of balls and our brains instead of our feet. Sure. And every, uh, every kid gets to go pro. I love it. I love it. So, so first Lego League is actually a, a nonprofit. Tell me a little bit about that, Professor. So it's all about giving back to the community. Right. It started um, over 25 years ago, and the idea was to give um, people and our kids an opportunity to get really engaged in science and technology. And it started with some really big robots, and then eventually there was the first Lego League, which is what these are for. Right. Then we went to first tech competition. This is for middle school to high school. Then it's also the first robotics competition for high school students. And those robots are really incredible. We couldn't bring one, one of those today. Right, too big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> too big and too complex. So obviously we're looking at what, what people would consider to be toys or a hobby, but this translates into real world life skills. How does it do that? It really does. So they're learning coding, first and mm -hmm. foremost, they're learning coding. So they get the robot kits. This is the current um, this is, we've upgraded from the EV3 to the Spike Prime. So they learn how to code. They code either in uh, like a scratch format at this level or they code in Python. And then once they graduate out of First Lego League, they come up to First Tech Challenge where they're okay. given a box of motors and metal and they use Java based coding for it. And then it's the same with FRC. It's only, it's just an even bigger robot. Python and Java. Python, both, Java. You, you see that. You see a demand still in the real world. Yes. Indeed. And they're solving real world problems. So some of these robots are doing what the robots are doing in the Amazon warehouses. And the, so the, they're building real robots. It's not like battle bots where we're trying to attack each other. We're actually <laughs> completing tasks. All right, all right. So are any of these operable? Are they operational right well, now? This or, one or how, how would this one work? Well, <laughs> the way it should work is this one should come close to here. Okay. And then lower. And then there you go. back up. Um, All right. But as in real life, sometimes things don't go as planned. Um, but it gives an idea. It should work no matter where I started from. It should get to the same distance. Right. And then stop. Okay. And then go back. And this is like a smaller scale of something that we would we would actually see nowadays. Exactly. In modern warehouses. Right. Exactly. So. They become students, they become engineers, <laughs> they get the jobs. They become it, leaders of tomorrow. Yes. 86% yeah. of the students that go through the first Lego League program graduate from a STEM-related degree program. Wow. And like I said, it is the sport where 100% of our kids go pro. I love it. I love to see that. Real quickly, if people want to get involved, I'm sure there's some yes. parents out there, some kids we that are like, volunteers. I want to know more. How do you help? Um, go to locally. You can go to buildersoftomorrow.org. That is we for all our tournaments locally. And then firstinspires.org is the overall worldwide. Okay. And they can volunteer anywhere. Okay, buildersoftomorrow.org. And that's also how you can sign up for future yes, sir. events. It will, it will send you to the right place to sign up. All right, cool. Well, awesome. Appreciate you both coming on. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes. I'm going to just take a look at this and marvel <laughs> at this engineering. I mean, there's a lot going on there. Yeah, they use CAD <laughs> software. They can use computer-aided design software as well. Wow. So. Wow, that's really cool. We'll be right back.